so this insta lecture session is on a very commonly asked and confused topic and the top question is this that why aptt in case of hemophilia why aptt is usually prolonged and pt prothrombin time is normal and usually i have seen particularly medical students they often confuse uh, in this that which one is prolonged in hemophilia pt or aptt to understand this thing you need to understand two basic concepts number one that hemophilia is basically a problem of intrinsic coagulation pathway because if you note that intrinsic coagulation pathway usually starts with 12 then 11 then 9 then 8 and then usually culminates in the final common pathway 5 to 1 so if you know that hemophilia there are three types of hemophilia one is hemophilia a which is due to factor 8 deficiency hemophilia b which is due to factor 9 deficiency and there is a rare variant hemophilia c which is due to factor 11 deficiency now factor 8 9 11 all three are part of the intrinsic coagulation pathway so that is the first basic concept that hemophilia is the disorder of the intrinsic coagulation pathway because coagulation pathway could be intrinsic and extrinsic you know and second important concept is that that intrinsic coagulation pathway is measured or evaluated by aptt or activated partial thromboplastin time and extrinsic pathway is measured by prothrombin time so before that the point number one concept number one i told you that aptt uh, hemophilia is basically a problem of intrinsic coagulation pathway and intrinsic coagulation pathway is evaluated by aptt so obviously in hemophilia which is a disorder of intrinsic coagulation pathway aptt would be prolonged aptt would be abnormal and prothrombin time would be normal because this is not a problem of the extrinsic coagulation pathway so if you understand this basic concept i don't think there is a need to memorize that which one would be prolonged pt or aptt in case of hemophilia because hemophilia is a intrinsic coagulation disorder of intrinsic coagulation pathway let it be hemophilia a hemophilia b or hemophilia c and intrinsic coagulation pathway is measured by aptt activated partial thromboplastin time if you understand those two basic concepts you can connect them and you can also formulate this that why understand this that why in hemophilia aptt would be prolonged activated partial thromboplastin time would be prolonged and pt prothrombin time would be normal Thank you.